Welcome to What You Ought To Do. Today, this morning, and you can see it's kind of dark out. Uh, we're waiting for the sun to come up and also the tide. We are going from Cape May, Uches Marina, up to Manasquan, New Jersey. It's a distance of about 99 miles. And some of the things that we have to think about today are the waves out on the ocean because we're going on the outside. We're uh, too much draft to go on the inside and really I think the, the best way to go is on the outside anyway. So we're going to be looking at the wind, the waves, the tides, and the currents. And at Manasquan there is a little bit of a current so our primary consideration is to arrive there on a slack tide. So let's go. It's 99 miles up the Atlantic. We left uh Uches, and we're on the way to the big Atlantic Ocean. Now, I I did not know today's trip was 99 <laughs> miles long. Oh, you're laughing until I recorded Sam earlier saying that, and I uh, did everything I could to hang on to the <laughs> the camera and not uh, freak out in the background. But anyway, yeah, it's a very busy day. And we have fishing boats uh, are all headed out. You can see just right after sunrise, fishing boats everywhere. It is Sunday on a Labor Day weekend. So when will we ever learn that <laughs> you don't move your boat much well, on? The good uh, thing is <laughs> there's a lot of boats out there going uh, fishing. And it should be a great day going up the Atlantic. Yeah, I think we're probably the only loopers that are headed up uh, yeah. the Atlantic today. We are, so we are definitely uh, going against the grain here by trying to get this boat up to uh, <laughs> a thousand islands by uh, early October. Getting waked but by looking fishing ahead, boats. Looking ahead, I'm like looking at some temperatures, Rev. I think uh, we probably don't have to use the air conditioner some of these nights. I'm telling you, it's like going to be... Uh, 60 degrees, 59, Ooh, ah, 55. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, we're starting to look at that. and Now we're talking. We'll be starting to see fall colors. And, uh, yeah, so I think okay. it's going to be a good time. So going out the Cape May Inlet. Yeah. Out the inlet. Got to put our game faces on now. <laughs> we'll talk later. We're right off the coast of... Wildwood. Sam's family used to take vacations here when he was a little boy, right off the coast there. We're sitting here just enjoying the morning when we heard a pon 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 call on the radio. And then we had a flashback because when we first started the loop the last time, it was right about here that we had to make a pond, pond, pond call. You remember that? I remember that. <laughs> anyway, I will link to that uh, video below. I'm sure we made a video. It's back when we were talking heads, but yeah, we, um, we basically had to get towed in our third day out on the loop. And our first day by ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So, Cousin Russ was with us the first two legs, and then the next trip we were on our own out in the Atlantic, and we had to get towed. So and you did a great job <laughs> out there on the bow <laughs> oh, with uh, Vinny towing us in. Well, anyway, anyway we're just that's having, another day. having flashbacks of being here. But it's a beautiful day out here. The water's fantastic. I'll turn around this way. All flat. I don't know if you can see Wildwood over there. There's a roller coaster down at, and then just beautiful flat water. Yeah. yeah kind of just uh, gentle swells, uh, you know. We'll take one it. Or two. And uh, like it said, uh, about a period of about nine seconds, so just kind of a rolling deal, but should be a nice ride up to Manasquan. Beautiful day. There is Atlantic City off of our port side. We have traveled about 
39 miles so far, got about another 60 to go. Atlantic City. Well, I guess this we don't need plan B or we'd be pulling in here. Yeah, so far everything's looking good. You can see the big towers, all the casinos in there. And if you look real close, you'll see the Ferris wheel out there, that steel pier where we were uh, just the other day. Yeah. Yeah. We had rented a car and drove to Wildwood and Atlantic City. <laughs> so there she is, beautiful Atlantic City. On our trip out here in the ocean so far, we've seen a bunch of dolphins in a pack together. That was kind of exciting. Yeah, it was, but every time you try to go and get the camera, they're gone. So <laughs> yeah, you just so that get part glimpses of changed. them. Yeah. So you have to trust us that we did see them. Yeah, and the last time we were here, that trip, I saw a shark fin. Oh, you did. I That's saw right. A shark out yeah, there. I remember that, yeah. All right, so we've been under way for about five hours. And Has it been that long? Yeah, it's been that long. And what do we got here? Is, uh, oh, just some kind of little uh, bucket. bucket or a toy or something out there. We have, like I said, we've been underway for about five hours. Um, we got some planning out of the way for the next couple of days. We also, I mean, by doing that, we took a look at the weather. So it's been a you know, a great ride out here. The, you know, we never really saw anything more than about two foot rolling at a, at a very long period. So it just kind of swells. You can kind of see they, they have changed a little bit to maybe a little bit on the uh, stern, but for the most part, it's been great. So one of the primary things about going into Manasquan is the current. And so, Rev, I don't know if you can kind of focus over here but what you'll see here is, you know, we knew based on some of the apps that we used that slack tide was going to be around 10 after 1. And so what I've been doing every once in a while, I've been watching these current arrows here. And at one time they were red as all the water was rushing in. And then they turned to orange and it was about a 1, 1. 1.9 or so. But right now, those arrows, if you click on those arrows, it is showing about a 0.9 mile per hour into there. By the time that we get there, I'll bet you those things are going to go away so that there won't be really any current going into there. So we've talked to the folks at Manasquan uh, Hopkins Marina. We've been in there before in our first loop. And one of the challenges is, of course, I think we went in there on a week, weekend or so, and so today is Labor Day. And what I predict is probably a lot of people are going to be leaving. So Doc Master said he really didn't know where he was going to put us because people will be leaving at about this time. It's also convenient with checkout time. So what he told us to do is come in and, you know, go to the fuel dock. Even though we don't need fuel, we're going to go to the fuel dock because that's what we did last time. And then they sort it out from there. They figure out, they take a look at your boat, figure out who's coming out, and then they'll put us in a slip. So what we're going to do is we're going to rig for a uh, starboard or a port tie on the fuel dock. It'll give Rev a little bit more uh, extra to do out there, but they usually have lines out there. so. We'll have maybe fenders on both sides, and it will be a little bit flexible as we come into the fuel dock. And then from there, we'll get a slip assignment and go in. So it's going to be a head on a swivel because I uh, no doubt there are going to be boats coming in and out of the inlet. So we'll try to capture some of that, uh, what I call fun and follies that's going to go on during uh, the entrance into the Manasquan uh, inlet. Well, that's about it. Uh, we also had uh, lunch up here on the bridge and Rev served a uh, baked potato with chicken. It was really good. Glad you liked it. Do you have anything to say uh, as we get ready to yeah, go in well, there? I'm ready to get there. Yeah, ready to get there and, and take a rest. And then uh, next trip is uh, we are going to see Lady Liberty. Yay. Yeah, New York. And we have really selected a couple good days 
to be up in that area because last time we were up there it was foggy so we are looking for great views of the Manhattan skyline and uh, of course Lady Liberty. Well, I don't like this at all. Um, when can I put the lines and fenders and everything out? Do we have a ways to go? Oh, okay. Okay, all right. This is nuts. That's why I don't like to go out on the weekends. But it's not just any weekend, is it? They're in front of us. They're behind us, huh? They're everywhere. As we are sitting here snugly in our slip, Sam did a crazy, amazing job getting us in here. The wind was just nuts, but, and the water's nuts because look at all of the boats that are back there. There is a train bridge and the workers had it closed. They were working on it a little while. So crazy time here at Hoffman's Marina in Manasquan Inlet. I do not know how that big boat is going to get in there. Traffic is coming from both ways. And that is a giant boat. Oh, and look at all those little boats waiting back there. <laughs> oh my goodness. All waiting to go through that bridge. Hey, thanks for coming along on this. 99.2 mile trip. Yep, very long. From Cape May to Manasquan. And you know what? What do you think about this part of the loop, Red? I would have to say we're terrible at planning. <laughs> and the reason is because last time we were here, it was Memorial Day weekend that the weather window worked out. <laughs> and this time it is actually Labor Day uh, a year later. And it is just as crazy. You know, you saw the boats, and the boats continue. You know, we are now docked. We're tied down. You know, we kind of hit the restroom, did a little reconnaissance run, and the boats are still going crazy what, here. What did you think about the docking? Oh, the docking was crazy. It was exciting. And, and the neat thing is, well, they tell you, hey, come to the fuel dock first. And so we pull up to the fuel dock, and they get your money, and they also ask for your insurance money. <laughs> and then they gave us a slip with a 15-knot crosswind, direct crosswind to stern end and a start and a port tide. And yeah. uh, we did it. Somehow, miraculously, we did it. You know, I needed a shot of tequila at the end, but <laughs> we did it. You survived. So, you did great. Yeah. So I guess there's a reason they asked for your insurance company. First, before, before you Before leave. they give you the slip. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for following us out there, and uh, we'll see you next time where we're going to head to Liberty Landing Marina. Thank you.